Right, what we're doing is um, talking about Reverb Nation and uh, what I'd like people to do on Reverb Nation. What's prompted this is because a couple of uh, band pages I've been on on Reverb, I couldn't like click the like button, so I don't know what's going on, but uh, it would come up and as soon as I moved the mouse over the like button, it would do. And uh, yeah, this is my... Uh, desktop. So here we go, we're going to go into Reverb Nation and we're going into a specific band in a minute. Just wait for this to come on. Yeah, moving your mouse up here, right, I'll do that again. If you go on edge, oh there's a couple there that I can close them, don't want that. I might leave that for the minute. Uh, right, I'm right clicking on edge and saying, oh, I missed it. Right click on it. Right click on edge. Go up to Microsoft Edge, then click, then left click it. Uh, I don't think you can see that at the moment. Right, edge has opened up and I've got this. It's just loading up the page. It's a bit slow today, I don't know why. But if you move your mouse up here, and just left click in this uh, roughly around here you'll get your address bar pop up then you can go paste and paste in your uh, link whatever it is you've got and then I hit enter on the keyboard and uh, wait for a second and this is what I get to come up is because it's Reverb Nation and um, this is a new fan in my list that I haven't fanned back yet uh, and if I want to fan them back I'm going to have to log in but I'm not going to log in at the moment I'm just going to show you what I want you to do if you're not a member of Reverb Nation and you want to listen to the music that I keep putting up um, if you scroll the page down a little bit as you can see I've just moved that down a bit you can click on the band on the music I've stopped that because uh, as you can hear there I like that now what you'd normally do is you'd go to this round button here and left click it and you would move over to the like and every time I'm moving over here to the, as soon as I get on the like it was disappearing on this page it's not doing it it's done it I've liked it already and I uh, as I say if I click it again it shows the thumbs up. If you can see the thumbs up that means you can like it and um, you know um, so click it and like it. Do the same with this like button up here see if it's showing a thumb you can like it and if you want to follow them on YouTube click the follow button I'm already following them uh, with my at Love It Promotions, and uh, that's on Twitter. Okay, so we can close that, and I can go down. I can leave a comment, um, but I won't be able to leave a comment because I'm not logged in. Now, if I wanted to log in, um, I, I, you know, uh, but I'm not a musician, and uh, I want to. Um, become a listener then just go and join as a, a fan uh, or you know and that's you know you, you can listen to any track leave comments do whatever about you want to do with uh, the bands and um, that's how you do it so as I say then you can go and have a look at all their fan pages and there's lots of other bands that you can look at. Now this one they've got, if you look here, they've had 14,000 song plays, uh, they've had 3,000 odd video plays, 
They've got 61,000 fans. Brilliant. Isn't, isn't that excellent? I'd love to have 61,000 fans. Uh, um, now, back to the music side of it. If I can play it, then I can copy it. Right? Now, let that sink in. If I can play the song, then it means I can copy it and download it. And so putting it up for sale here when you click on and you want to buy the track if it says buy the track please buy it you know um, but um, any track that's put up on Reverb Nation can be copied and uh, I'll do a tutorial at some point to show you how to copy the music that you're listening to so that you can save it off as an mp3 and um, play it back whenever you want put it to your mp3 player do whatever and um, even if you even if this says you can this one says you can download it but if you couldn't download it and they were selling it and you wanted that you were that desperate to get a copy then this what I will show in another tutorial is how you can copy it but buy the track I mean, the guys are working hard. Whoever's doing it, making music, buy the track. You know. Um, so, uh, there you go. In a future tutorial, as I say, I will show you a way of doing the recording. Any track, any sound uh, that you get played through your laptop, your computer, whatever. I'll show you how you can record it and keep it for yourself. Right. Um, but if it says download, click download. Before we, thank you for downloading sticks and stones. Give a give our free download to your friends. So you can do it. So email it to a friend, like it. Down here it says open folder. Uh, there's the track ready to do that um, because you can download it. Uh, just open folder it's probably put it in my downloads I download stuff all the time oh it downloads yep um, and I always sticks and stones mp3 there it is brilliant you know but it means you've got no link you don't know where they've gone so what I tend to do is I will go right click I've already I've already got it then um, shush. Um, I've already got it. So what I will do is I will start a notepad. I will then paste that into notepad because I've already got it. Now the song track title. I can close that now. Close that. Um, I'll just move my mouse, all I'm doing is holding down my left mouse button and move it, dragging the, the mouse now right click on the blue go to copy call back my notepad page and I'm just going to move it down a bit and go paste, there's the name of the, that I want the name of the band now and it's AO, it's here so AO, copy that's a right click, highlight it, and then go type in BY and then paste. Then I can always come back to this band anytime I want. I know exactly where they are on Reverb Nation. Save and file, that's file, save as. Uh, with desktop, double click desktop, bands, bands to listen to again, that's it. Now what I do down at the, down here, you've got, I'll make this smaller, right, down here you've got ANSI, well because it's going to be an email, web address, I now save it as a Unicode, right, I change that to Unicode, click save, and that will save yeah it's already there uh, do it again yep 
and now all the dots and forward colons, uh, forward slashes and what have you, all that will get copied before it wouldn't copy it if you don't make it an ANSI file. Right, there you go. So that's file, save as, make sure it's a Unicode. Not an ANSI, you want it as a Unicode. Sorry about that, I said, said ANSI. Um, you want to save it as a Unicode, okay? Save, it's because I've already got it saved. It's there. Alright, I've done it twice so that you can see what to do.